Hey, so what's going on, Battlefielders? My name is Pwnstar. We are here playing a little bit of Bad Company 2, and I have that XM8 in my hand, and my god, when it's in my hands, this baby purrs for me. I love this weapon, man. As you guys know, I started Battlefield right when the BF3 beta came out. I only tested it around with Bad Company 2 for a week or two, and then I, you know, and when I did play it, I was having fun with Recon. I never got to experience the Assault class, so on and so forth. So I'm still trying to find these guns that work for me, and my god, the chemistry with me and this gun, we're soulmates. It's incredible. Oh, flying Wookiee inbound. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, shits were lost during that. I laughed when I was I was in the middle of a montage clip, and I still saw that, that Wookiee fly off like a spaceship, and my god, it was hilarious. So, I want to talk to you guys about something, something that's a serious topic, and I, just, I guess you can put this in the category of a real talk. Uh, there may be some lulls involved, but... I want to kind of be serious about this because it's something that I've dealt with a lot in my life. Not necessarily from a first-hand experience, but from a passenger stance. You know what I mean? From, from somebody that's witnessed it happen to my family. And I want to talk to you guys about addiction. Now, it's a very sensitive topic if you feel that there is something that is really involved in your life right now, whether it's you or someone else that you really care about, and this is a sensitive topic for you. I want to urge you guys to stop watching. Um, addiction is no laughing matter. It's probably one of the most serious seriousness the most serious one of the most serious things in the world to deal with um because it grabs hold of you and addiction is basically an escape um from what i've witnessed from what i've seen is addictions are basically the way for people to forget about the problems in their life it's kind of a crutch if you will um a a break of reality uh like like for example you ever get mad or pissed off your mom wants you to like do the dishes or clean or be responsible or some shit i know right they used to get me mad i used to get all sorts of heated not in a good way you know what i mean so I used, to, I used to deal with stuff, so what I used to do is I'd bury my, myself in my video games for 10-12 hours a day, and I guess in a way I was kind of addicted. Um, but not in the sense that I need more, I need more, not like you would uh, something else, but it was just kind of like I forgot about all the problems, so I did this. So I, I, I believe there are various styles of addiction. I believe there are your casual ones that make you feel better, and then there are kinds of escape ones, you know, ones that you just need to get away and you're depressed or suicidal or something, and... You need something to cling on to, something that makes everything worthwhile or forgettable, if you will. So, I mean, the standard, you know, the, the chill ones, you know, the ones that I, I find that are, I guess, unhealthy but healthy at the same time, I guess there's something like video games. Video games are naturally an escape for people that, um, you know, you're just stressed, and when you play video games, you forget about the stresses of the world. So I don't think it's as unhealthy as people think, but most people like to categorize a, an addiction of um, of an obsessive nature, like um, I think if I remember correctly, it's been a long time since I researched any of this stuff. But like, uh, for somebody to be addicted to pornography, they had to watch it for like 16, 18 hours a day or something, which is basically you get six hours of sleep, wake up, and fap your entire day, and then do it all over and over and over again. You'd spend like 200 hours a week or some shit watching porn, and that's kind of what an obsession slash addiction was in that category. When I think it's much more realistic on the six, eight hour thing. You know, most people have a job, and if after that job you come home and you only do one thing the rest of the night, I think that is some borderline addiction. Now, I've seen all kinds of addictions through my life. To let you guys know what I've dealt with, um, the only guy that I've ever actually considered a father to me was, uh, he, he was a coquette. He was addicted to cocaine, um, and he was in and out of our life because he was in prison, in and out. He stole from family. While he was in prison, um, his mother and his brother died. And I saw the toll it took on him. He can't even look at me anymore. I mean, it's different. It's, it's, it's weird. And, you know, his life flashed by. He lost everything. He hurt his loved ones by not being there. The marriage to my mother was just thrown out the door because an addiction took precedence. It was more important. I mean, he didn't mean it to be that way. I knew he cared, and that's the control that something like drugs can have over a person. Um... He was clean for like two years one time, then he ran into a friend that needed a ride, he noticed him, and they had it on him, and that's all she wrote, man. Weakness is weakness, and everyone has it. To think that you are above addiction is blind. I do my best to fight it if I feel that I'm going to be involved in something to do it. One of the things that you guys may or may not know about me is I'm a gambler. I, I gamble a lot. Um, I used to, at least. I mean, I've learned my limits, and I think witnessing what it does to families has prepared me a little bit more for handling addiction. Um, every male in my family, I wish I was exaggerating right now, every male in my family is an alcoholic. Like, my dad can go through a 24-pack and not even be buzzed. You know what I mean? There's no phasing at all. He's just naturally immune to it. Um, and, you know, and, and, and you witness it. I mean, that's one of the more common addictions. And, and you see things like cigarettes. You know, people can quit them, but you have to have the self-control. You have to have the determination, the ambition, the drive to want to quit something like that. And 
It's painful. That's kind of like, I guess my, it's not an addiction, but the same kind of feel is what my anxiety has over me. This amount of control that despite you wanting to fix it, trying to conquer it, it's there and you got to deal with it. It's who you are. It's a part of who you are. And that's one of the complications there are. I mean, that's the simplest thing that I can compare it to is something that has control over me, though, even though I don't want it to. And most people that are addicted to something know it's wrong. They want to quit it, but they just can't. So I find that there's all kinds of addictions. I mean, there's there's fabsturbation, there's pornography. I'm sure you guys just can't get enough of my videos, and that's an addiction. Um, people that play video games, you know, 10, 12 hours a day. I see kids all the time. They get home from school at 3 o'clock, play till midnight. Every day, that's your cycle. That's what you do. It's not healthy. There are girls out there. There are squirrels out there. There's octopus, octopi. I mean, there's freaking everything out there. There's so many things in the world. And it's not necessarily a wake-up call. I'm not trying to say, hey, you guys, I'll play video games all day. I do the same damn thing. You know what I mean? That's, that's not too big a deal. Um, it's just something I wanted to address. I wanted to talk to you guys about it. So I want to know your opinions on addiction. Because I'm sure everyone here, whether or not you have some of your own or you know someone that does... Understand how devastating it can be for a family. Some of them are more harmful than others because drugs um, are... You, you, you kind of see what happens. The entire family knows about drugs. Gambling is something that you can hide a little bit better. Uh, but I've seen people, mortgages, families, ruined by you know stuff like that. Addiction. Um, I mean, there's sex addicts. There's so many kinds of addiction out there. And it's weird to know that that's what we classify it as. But it's something that has such control, such dominance over who we are that it takes a hold of it. So I try to stay away from things to do that. That's kind of the reason why I don't drink. People ask me, Pum, why don't you drink? Why don't you do drugs? You ever smoked? You ever done marijuana? You ever done any of that shit? No, I haven't. And the reason I haven't is because I've seen what happens to it. And it's not necessarily... I do have I do have faith in myself that if I had to stop something, I could. But I also understand that I'm not arrogant or stupid enough to try to find out how it turns out. I don't need anything else. I've got my family, and you know, people hit hard times. You never know when rock bottom feels like. You lose a loved one and stuff like that. You may resort to something you don't want to. And it's, it's not wrong. I mean, I understand. I feel for people that deal with that. I mean, there are unhealthy things, but it doesn't mean it's, it's, it's horrible. It doesn't mean it's, it makes you a bad person, you know? And I always, I always tried to make you know, my ex-stepfather understand that, that. I loved him. I knew he had issues. He had complications. But I loved him for who he was. And... And that's, that's not something I've been able to say to any other guy. He was the closest thing to a father I ever had. And to know he was taken from us by an addiction was painful because I knew how much he cared about us. And, you know, it, it does things. So addictions are very, very rough. That's something about my life you did not know. I'm, I, I gamble. I mean, whether or not it's, it's something, I mean, it seems simple. But I gamble because I'm good at it. I'm good with odds. I'm good with numbers. I used to be one of the best euchre players in the world. I used to be sponsored by Bicycle Cards, if you guys know who they are. Obviously, one of the top card things in the world, Joe Andrews, and I used to compete. Um, I, I like things being in my favor where I can control them more. I did poker. Um, I, I've done a lot of gambling throughout my days, and you know now I'm, I'm getting back into you know fantasy football and stuff, and I expect to put some money down on that. But you got to know your limits, and you got to try to make it as healthy as possible, and that's just kind of how it is. You mean put the odds in your favor, and and, and there are all kinds of different uh, different kind of addictions, but. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, a lot of you guys are kids who spend 8, 10 hours a day. Do you think that's addiction? Why do you do that? that? That's a better question. Why do you do it? Do you do it because you hate your mom? Because you hate school? Because you hate the man putting you down every day? What is it that you dislike that you spend so much of your time absolved and you know, taken into one thing rather than experiencing multiple things or you know, doing different things? Do you actually find yourself being addicted to it? Do you find that you have to come home and do that? And if you don't do that, then it just messes up with things. I don't know. So I know it's just kind of a real talk. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, like I said, there are tons of different kinds. Um, leave your opinions down in the comments below, guys. Remember to leave a like and favorite. It helps out a lot. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this real talk. Peace out. Get it.